Now, I'll give you my number afterwards. <laughs> I can teach your dog any dog. Right. Anyway, you see, you see, the problem with this blah 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 when a Czech person is, you know, sh shouting at me like a machine gun. It's a machine gun, come on, pay attention. It's a machine gun. Blah 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 blah. Right, the problem is my face. No, no funny comments. <laughs> my face. You see, I have a really understanding face. <laughs> You know, yeah, 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 you know, and the problem is that, you know, when I have my understanding face and they are speaking blah, 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 they think I understand, but they could be saying anything, they could be saying absolutely anything, and I would be agreeing with it, they could be standing there going, yes, well, I think we should, uh, you know, annex Poland and move the armies across into Poland and then maybe round up all the Jews, <laughs> and I'll be standing there going, yeah, yeah, great, And because I say this in perfect Czech, the Czech person thinks I understand and carries on talking, blah, 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 blah. But the truth is absolutely is it true. And I'm standing there going, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes they use German words. Das ist gut. Open my Asha! <laughs> ich bin Kauflander! <laughs> Kaufland, Kaufland, über alles! Listen, the only German words I know are from porn films! <laughs> Sometimes they start shouting louder! Scheiße! Not Scheiße, yeah, I know that one. What porn films have you been watching? <laughs> Sometimes they shout louder. Pedo, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh, listen, I have ears. The truth is, I don't understand you, you mad Czech man. Posolke, do you check no? Yeah, Rosamin Velny Malochesky. Ja můžu říkal sokoliv jak si, ale ty nerozumím já a já nerozumím ty. A můžete ti říkal mi moc slovo a já nerozumím nic. A já stál jako idiot a já udělat moc. Já udělat moc a teď jak si říkal píča. <laughs> Promiň. He said, he said, um, a load of nonsense in Czech about something okay. that was, um, and then I finished it with a really rude word. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to know, it's really rude. Maybe so, Ian, what's that? Yeah, we want to know. Yeah. You want to know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, okay, no, it's really rude. C U N T. Don't tell the children, okay? <laughs> in Czech, though, so it doesn't really count in Czech because. I'm an Englishman, they all go, ha ha ha, he said feature. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, yeah, you taught me a swear word. Great, right, that's really going to help me down the shops tomorrow morning, isn't it? Feature. <laughs> Can I have a ham and salami pizza? <laughs> you want a ham and salami pizza? Do you want pineapples on it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and that's the problem. You know? <laughs> the problem is Czech, really. The problem is Czech. Czech is so fucking complicated. It's the, one of the most complicated languages in the world, in the Czech Republic, that is. And the problem is that, that Czech has seven cases. Do you know what cases? Everybody no. up to stand. It's a leopardo. And <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, so in a case, right, 
this is, this is not a lesson here, right? I don't want to spend all my time teaching you Czech, okay? Right. Right. There are cases, right? There's nominative, purgative, there's the there's the, case. Right. There's, the, there's the standing in a box looking at someone case. And then there's, the, there's the sitting on a midget while riding a bicycle case. Um, there's, the, there's the standing at the top of Vaslavsky Square shouting at tourists case. You know, there's loads of them. There's about seven. Right. Uh, give or take. And it basically means you have to change the end of the word to something else. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, what the fuck? It's seven. So what I did was I brought a book. This is the book I brought, ladies and gentlemen. It is Learn Check in Three Months. Let's have a lesson. Here we go. Three months, everybody. Three months. Here we are. As its name suggests, the imperative is used to get into new orders. For example, give me that letter! Don't touch that! <laughs> if you think about it, a command is always issued to somebody else, which implies the use of you, either single or plural. What we are really saying is you give me that letter. Don't you touch that! The other <laughs> use of the imperative in Czech is where the suggestion is being... <laughs> the studio... 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 You... I brought this book eight years ago. <laughs> I want my fucking money back. It's a bastard thing. <laughs> anyway, and that's not the problem. That's not only the little problem, the cases. The other problem is formal check. You know, formal check, yes. informal check, right? And pub check. <laughs> You know, you've got like, you know, you're like formal check, which is dobry den, jak se máte. In formal check, you're supposed to use it only with people who are higher than you. So you have to use it with all Rastafarians whenever you <laughs> Right, and then there is informal check, which is like, ahoy, bomba, yo, yo, you have to use it with really stupid people. Right. Sting, I'll use it with you, it's okay. Oh, 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 oh. sorry. Anyway. He's staring at me now, he's staring at me now. <laughs> anyway, right. Oh, right, okay, sorry. Anyway, right, so, and also there is pub check, which is like, Nasta, Scotty, Panacle, 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 Panacle. Panacle is a shot, you know, mental people. Right, this, this, Formal check was a big, big problem for me. It was a big problem for me the first time I came to the Czech Republic to work. Now, I work in, I work in uh, Academy Jana Amos Kamensky. Now, do we know who Jana Amos Kamensky is? Right. Jan Amos Kamensky was a man. He lived a long time ago, and he invented, well, he, he was the father of the modern method of teaching. Now, I don't know who the mother of the modern method of teaching was, but I'm sure he fucked her. Kamensky is the man with the plan. He's like, you know, oh, big daddy. Uh, teaching, I will teach you. And uh, Kamensky, he, um, he, he sort of like changed the system, and which the Czechs have, he, he was like, play and school, play and school, and the Czechs have just ignored it. <laughs> they just ignored the whole system, the whole modern method. Fuck it, don't need it. We're happy just shouting at people. Right, anyway, and, um, and uh, can I have my 200 crowns, please, now? Uh, I get paid during the show for uh, every minute, basically. Here's my 200 crowns for the show. Thanks very much, Mr. Manager, sir. Thanks very much. Um, basically, um, yeah, here he is on their 200 crown note. It is Kamensky, ladies and gentlemen. Kamensky, that's him. Look at him. Once the cameras. Once the cameras. <laughs> Imagine that. Look at him. He's got mad, starey eyes. <laughs> He's got a big beard. Oh, look at him. He's a teacher. He teaches stuff. He's a teacher. He, he, he fucked Mrs. Teacher. <laughs> My girlfriend is a teacher. <laughs> it's me! I am Kamensky! I'm fucking back! Come on! Oh, I will teach you. Anyway, right, so. 
Kaminsky, right, anyway, so I work at Yana, Academy Yana Amos Kaminsky. Now, Academy Yana Amos Kaminsky used to have a boss. Her name was Penny Bichkova. And how dearly we love and remember Penny Bichkova, don't we all? Right. Yeah? Oh, she was great. The hair. She, she looked like David Bowie on, on acid or something. Like, <laughs> massive hair. And for those who know, she looked a bit like John Pertwee. Anybody? <laughs> John Pertwee. Yeah, yeah, she looked like John Pertwee. Yeah, yeah. It was weird. I, was, I walk in every morning going, John Pertwee's here. Doctor Who is here. He's, he's running my school. <laughs> Maybe he can go back in time and make loads of money. Anyway. So, anyway, right, so, Mrs. Vichkova was a fair woman full of respect, loads of respect. You were not allowed to say a bad word to Mrs. Vichkova, and she was always standing there with her watch going, Scotty, what time is this? But that is in Czech, not in English. Anyway, and what time do you call this? Blah, blah, blah. She had a lot of respect. I don't even know her first name. That's how much respect she had. <laughs> Right, anyway, right, so, Steve will have to come in in a minute, right, so anyway, I lived in, oh, yeah, so, I moved to Czech Republic, this is a very complicated story, so, right, so there's Jana Amos Komensky, that's the school, the school's boss is Penny Vichkova, and so basically, I'm arriving by plane into Prague airport to go to work in Yichi in the Academy Jana Amos Komensky, and there I meet my good friend, Steve. Yeah. He, he wasn't my good friend then. I didn't. I didn't know him then. He, he wasn't my good friend. He was just somebody that I met at an airport. And he just. He just appeared. You know, like when you meet people at an airport and they just sort of like appear out of nowhere. Are you Scots? Like that. And you're like, how the fuck did you know? <laughs> it's like I've seen your picture on Facebook. <laughs> Anyway, right, so, anyway, right, so I met Steve, and um, he was going to be my new boss, and I was standing there going, Wow, fucking hell, Steve, I'm in the fucking Czech Republic, this fucking girl's beautiful, and the fucking beer is nice. And he's like, and I was, maybe I didn't swear so much. Did I swear? Yeah, you did, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought I swear. But anyway, so Steve's there, and <laughs> this is what he said. He said, oh, wow, yeah, 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 that's cool, man. Yeah, 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 the, the, the girls are beautiful, the beer is lovely. That's why I moved here in the first place, anyway. Yeah, it's lovely, man. <laughs> so I was like, so I was like standing there going, Steve, wow, I'm in the Czech Republic. I, I don't even know anything. I don't even know how to say hello. Steve turned to me and went, oh yeah, hello, <laughs> yeah, yeah, hello, it's easy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. oh, hello, yeah, hello. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's easy, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, ahoy in Czech. And I was like, thanks Steve, my first Czech word, brilliant, that's fantastic, right? I was just like, yes, my first ever Czech word. So Steve drove me to, um, do you want me to talk about the other thing that happened on the way? I don't, <laughs> I don't think we should. No, okay. but it, it was a bit weird, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. oh, oh, that's that's not but uh, let's just say sleeping prostitutes alike. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't that bad. No, um, let's just say that that Steve. Um, well, we we uh, uh, cigarettes are really expensive in the Czech Republic. Okay. What? Cigarettes are really expensive. Super expensive, so expensive that you have to share one between two people. <laughs> okay? Yeah, two people, one cigarette. Right, forget it, right, okay, right. 